What Mira does well, Mira connects the team together. With Mira, everything is under your focus. I start with uh, Miro for the fuzzy stage of my work. The areas before you start really designing, like during the research or discovery areas. Miro is one space for all of the teammates where we could gather all the brainstorming things, all the directions, ideas, with just an overview of all the inputs that you have. It is much simpler and easier for you to think about what are the best steps for you. It can be engineering, it can be product, it can be research. What really helps is when each of the team members are connected and understand what's happening. So I think Miro is a really good tool for that, to gain some kind of common ground between different team members. Now we're working on this project where we have a separate part of the board dedicated to the presentations to the leadership. In the middle there is uh, mine and my PM's thinking ground. We have research, some designs from Figma. When you see everything as visually as it can be produced on a mirror board, it helps all the roles in the team to understand better the context. And uh, it allows us to have some kind of transparency in terms of what is going on with the project right now. I think the biggest uh, game changer for me was uh, to learn that I can conduct co-creations. So Mira is quite an easy tool for non-designers. For them, some kind of design tool feels a bit uncomfortable. And Mira is a good bridge to get past through this stage of being uncomfortable, you know, and just uh, let those ideas fall. Just recently we had a really nice Crazy 8 um, brainstorming session and I know that not everybody is really willing to use a paper and a pen. That's why the wireframing that we have in the tool was quite handy there. It was really easy for them just to start using it. The barrier to entry is pretty low and I just need a simple sticky note and uh, it makes it easy for me to really brainstorm ideas. As a designer I actually uh, conduct a lot of workshops. The first aha moment is when everybody is seeing this courses already on the board, you can already feel that you are somewhere all together. What helps me a lot with the facilitation of the workshops in Miro are the, I would call them crowd control features. So for example, if somebody starts wandering somewhere on the board, you can just with one click bring a person to your overview. During our retro, the private mode is something that is really helping to improve the quality of the questions because you are really sharing what you have in your mind. First uh, aha moment happened when somebody put a timer on the board and started music. I was like, okay, wow, what's happening here? <laughs> I totally love emojis on stickers. With these tiny details, you can share your support, appreciation or probably some questions that really can improve the communication within the team. The first time I used reactions uh, during the meeting, I was like, okay, that's, uh, that's pretty fun, you know. I think that without Miro, I won't be able to produce any type of design work. Miro just remains this fun tool, delightful tool that uh, allows me to create exciting moments in our day-to-day -day work life.